What's up guys, Yak Manx, we're back. Today we are in Rome, Georgia on a creek that flows off of the, uh, I believe the Ustanala River. We are gonna float this creek for Kusa Bass today. Hopefully we catch a 12 incher for the Georgia Bass Lamb. We're sort of struggling right now, looking to catch at least five of those species in Georgia. Get another part of the Georgia Bass Lamb. We'll see you when we're on the river. Let's catch some fish. Today's adventure is not necessarily a true kayak adventure, but we do need kayaks to get there. Um, we're gonna be walking up these creeks and there's a couple of deep holes that we need. We're gonna have to drag our kayaks through some of these sandbars and some of these rocks over trees. Um, and it's all possible with this shoulder. Dude, that's it. That's it, dude. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. All right. 10 minutes into fishing. Our first catch is the target species. Oh, see a little squirmy guy. There he is. A little Kusa bass. Got the bright, bright, vibrant red eye. Doesn't have those very distinct spotted lateral lines like a large mouth does. I don't know if you'll count, I think it might be a little short, but just the catch one after a whole trip of not catching a single one, it's pretty cool. That's a big fish. That's not just a small one. Just don't move. No, that's a catfish. What? <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? I've got a catfish on a Ned rig. Honestly, what? <laughs> this is not the fish that we were going for. I'll take him, because I've never caught a catfish in a creek. But this is not the fish I wanted. Um, we're gonna say bye. Look at him. See you later. Come on. Yep. He's gone anyways. Hurry up a little bit more. Left. Is that a catfish? No, it's a bass. It's a spot though. Dude, he clobbered it. Dude, this is so much fun on this rod. Dude, that is a ginormous spotted bass for a creek like this. Look at that fish. This is why I love fishing creeks like we do. You just find the smallest little waterways and they just hold so many different fish and just you get surprised every single time. It didn't look that big underwater, but once we pulled it out for a creek, that's a stud. Then 
a pretty successful morning so far. At least for me. Patrick is still <laughs> struggling a little bit. We're just walking up this creek, looking for deep spots, deep holes. Fishing again, our Ned rigs. I mean, it's beautiful. I love doing this stuff like this in the summer. How you feeling, buddy? All right. I mean, there's plenty of day left, but I'm pissed that you caught a very nice spot and a Kusa bass already. Well, I'm just waiting for my one Kusa bass that is bigger than your spot. I wouldn't even be mad. That'd be cool. We're gonna get, keep going to fishing. He needs to catch one like ASAP before he kills me out here. And uh, yeah, let's get back to it. The drag is way too loose. What was it? It had to have been a bass, dude. How big? <laughs> like a pound. It wasn't small. Fish on. What is that? So I think this might be a Kusa bass. I'm not sure. Might be a hybrid of some sort. But there's a slight blue tint behind the eye. I'm gonna measure it, send it to DNR, see if I get a good response back. But uh a good fight. I don't think that was a fish, but it comes out like it. Said, I thought I had a fish. Yeah, now I am. It's not small. Watch it. Watch it. Watch well, it. he's through. He's hey, hey, hey. Hey, bring him over here. I'm going to try to get him for you. Nice. Nice. It's a spot. You're killing spots today, man. I mean, they're so much fun, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Another little spotted bass. They fight so hard in these creeks and just in the moving water and on like light, medium light spinning gear. It's so much fun. This might not be the target species, but I can catch these all day. Let's go catch some more. What was that for? He wanted to go home. <laughs> Oh, rock. Pretty looking fish. I don't think I've caught a single species twice today. See you later. Whatever that is, it's nice. Nice. I got another one. <laughs> He's bleeding. Say goodbye to him. See you later, man. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Kusa. Look at that. That was a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Justin and I are taking a quick snack break. 
Um, we were about to turn around and head back down the creek. Uh, those two fish I caught that I called rock bass are actually goggle eye or shadow bass. Um, rock bass are more northern uh, species. Okay, so it's a shadow bass, but that's all right. We're going to hopefully catch some more because Justin wants to catch one. We caught the Coosa bass. We just have to catch another one for Justin to be 12 inches or longer. Well, we'll go fish. Peace. See you when we see you. It is a juice. Double decent. A pretty little spot. This spot Justin and I fish on the way up here. Only caught one spotted bass out here. Just caught another. It is the juice though. Paddled downstream a ways. We're gonna go back up now, fish all the spots that we kind of drifted through. We didn't decide to fish anything until we were gonna go back up. But there were some juicy looking spots. Hopefully, we catch one more 12 inch Kusa bass. And in general, have a good time. It's a Kusa, but it's tiny. That's it's a Kusa. Though, right? it's a Kusa. He's so blue. It's kind of cool. Let's take a picture. Well, I just felt him hit my foot. I caught a Kusa bass about this big. He was bleeding, a little feisty. But that was our first little spot on our way up, back to the launch. So if that's the case, things are looking good. That took five minutes of us really fishing. Hopefully we get one a little bit longer, but uh, I'm excited. Let's keep going. Yeah. Oh, it just spit out a frog. It spit out a legit frog, Jay. All right, caught another fish. Pretty sure this is another Kusa or a hybrid of a Kusa. Happy that I caught it though. 13 inches. Getting one step closer to that Georgia bass slam. Beautiful fish. I wasn't recording because my GoPro is about to explode. But I did the old fashioned tree dangle, got this thing stuck in the tree, and I just dangled it off the edge, and this guy crushed it. I honestly put up a really good fight. Got him stuck in the stick and everything. It was a, it was a time. I appreciate the bite. Wish it was a Kusa. See you later. Let's catch him up. Spot. Dude, I am the spot slayer. Alrighty, the day is over. We officially caught our Kusa bass, both of us. So we're one step closer to that Georgia bass slam. It was an adventure for sure. I think we'll have to come back, go further down the creek. Thank you for joining us. Peace out.